Ten seconds remaining. Enigma. Who coming out from no fear? And he does uh, not manage to get it though. And the stun actually comes out. So, you know, you're very far away from the tower. If that stream protector was in a better position, they could have gone for him. But he ends up uh, revealing himself and getting harassed himself. So Lone Druid is safe. Uh, by the way, there is someone being very trigger happy with the Quelling Blade here. Ooh, a lower dance uh, in a bit of a tricky spot there. He takes a lot of damage, but he is a bristleback. He still ends up going down, but perhaps his Night Stalker done for as well. No, they get that kill on the Trium Protector. Two down on the side of Vega Squadron. In the meantime, in the middle lane, we got the Puck sitting on 22 last hits for 14. 16 to 4. And uh, Puck himself, ew, we, that's a sad thing. His face shift was on cooldown. He did not realize that Triumph Tractor would be there, especially not with the haste rune. Dead Puck. Place words uh, in that mid lane, getting some extra control. And again, during nighttime, this Night Sucker comes around again. There's the Living Armor helping out, and also the Life Drain. They get the kill on No Fear. Look at Pikachu. His face shift is on cooldown. He gets hexed up, gets stunned up, and gets killed off. And last hit going to Silent. That's a rich line. He can finally afford some boots. And in the meantime, on the top lane, the lower dance left his vices up against two, finding their limit, limits and, and pushing their limits, especially on the top lane. Getting those first two kills uh, was massive for them. In the meantime, Puck ended up going uh, bottom lane, bristle back. He thought he could farm safely, and he gets black hold for that as well. Oh, the poor baby. Coordinated as well. They knew exactly uh, that they needed to strike that bristle back down. Now, again, there's still Darks here in the game. Wait a second. This is a scary Death Prophet. Or is my rather a scared Death Prophet. He's trying to life siphon. He's trying to force them away. His ultimate is still on for in a couple more seconds. And it does look like he might be able to get the heal back from that. He gets the heal indeed. And it is the Puck that has to pay with his life. The tower ended up dropping for 25 minutes. Nice is the only one that's not in the smoke. He has another one in his infantry if he wants to make sure that he is smoked as well, but we'll find out. In comes the tree and smoke revealed. They know he's there. The sentry gets placed. The overgrowth not there. The silence comes first, and that means this tree is done for. That's the way to open a fight right there. And she's a vacuum wall, though. Black hole coming in. BKB up there as well. And it's a bristleback that's stuck in there, but he did not die. The focus was not there. And in the end, it's a night stalker that ends up going down. The lion did get not picked up. Aegis gets popped, Bristleback will be back in a little while, the Exorcism was off cooldown again, Pikachu taking a beating there, but he should be able to orb himself out, and there's no real backup, there's a very speedy Bristleback with the Surge, but doesn't look like Vega Squadron can get the kills they want, they will end up being get it completely, yes, in comes the Druid, in comes the Bear, looking for the Entangle, can they kill Bristleback, the real one this time, no Aegis anymore, a lot of stacks in that Quill Spray, you've got to be careful with that Bristleback, Malefice, he gets himself away, Surge, Vision coming in, Pikachu going forward, and yes, they get the bristle back indeed. He's in now the Death Prophet, no fear, having that vision. Glimpse back, vision provided by Night Stalker in the, into the glimpse. That is a combination working out just fine. The exorcism is down, and that means this Death Prophet is should die. There you go, a little bit delayed by the tree and protector there. And in the end, Anshi is the one coming out for lose the Rontier one. They're actually all teleporting towards this top tower oh lion he pops a shrine he's still silent. he can't do anything this nighttime is really wrecking him now he can x up he's right outside the static storm he can make it happen ends up getting still most of his spells up before dying it comes a vacuum in the wall <coughs> but the black hole coming out root canceling that one nice position by sioma so far, already two down on the side of Vega Squadron. Looks like it's Anchi that comes out ahead, but this Bristleback is still so very tanky. He might be able to chase people away. Still Puck moving forward, perhaps. Nah, he's uh, he's not gonna get in there. Two heroes should be fine. <laughs> I need something that I. L oh, hello. That is uh, that is a gem on the Puck. Try to juke it out. This is where an axe comes into play. Oh, they, the jo they jump back. Overgrowth will be able to still uh, orb forward. This tree is though, he's going to try to TP out. But yeah, you can't do that. That is not possible. Yules from Puck coming out, a nice kill. 
What happens to the babies? Are they... Radiance top tower is under attack. But maybe, uh, maybe Angie can make something happen. Silas again on this lion, lion dead. There's no doubt about that one. BKB gets popped by G because he has to get out of there. Lower dance coming forward. This bristleback is quite fat, but he still he can still die. He has to still be careful. They wrap around. Still wanted to go for the burst back, or perhaps for G, who doesn't have his BKB anymore. Nice silence coming out just in time. Life Siphon on there as well. Midnight pulls very well positioned by Yoki, who's waiting back, seeing if he can get that black hole going. He just has to make sure that that black hole catches a lower dance. Bear gets denied by no fear uh, and uh, resummoned. They're like, you take Aegis? Sure, we take your tower. But with this Aegis, they surely can fight. They're coming in though. The tower ended up still dying. The Aegis gets picked up by Aloha Dance. Not really in sight, but he, they, knew, they know he's in the jungle. They saw him walking past and they find him as well. There's a teleport coming in. That is a Puck. Blinks to the back of the fight instantly. They will still be able to kill off the lone druid. Let's see what this Puck is doing. He got the Dream Coil out. Silence. Hits. Is there a Hex available? No, not yet. There's just right clicks. There's the Hules coming out from the Puck himself. Might be able to face shift and maybe blink out again after as well. Hules coming out from Death Prophet. Probably tried to heal himself. Didn't manage to do that. Puck ended up jumping to the high ground. There was a Dire Courier in that fight. Dire Courier ended up dying. Not that one. In comes the wall, up on the lone druid again. They know that if he would get back then, he doesn't have a bear. We'll have a buyback though, I think. And the age is of course still there. The tier 3 didn't end up dropping. Is that enough for Vega Squadron? Are they gonna want more? They do want more. Oh, Night Stalker. Be careful there, buddy. No fear. He's taking a lot of damage here. This might actually be the end of it. One more quiz. No, he doesn't get it off. He gets silenced off, and the Night Stalker will end up popping a shrine and live. Oh. He's fine. Still has it ages, of course. <coughs> How do you deal with this person? He gets a mechanism heal as well. They're just continuing whittling down the buildings and they're actually going for the melee racks they're comfortable enough that they will stand here for as long as it takes they're all stuck in the kinetic field and the bkb is not yet there for the disruptor the overgrowth does cancel off the black hole this enigma he has to try to get out again the ages did get popped bristle back back in the fray goes for the for the barracks so in the meantime nobody died they're just taking in the towers and they're just making sure that the melee racks go down. Lone Druid comes back from base. Doesn't have a bear. Where's his bear? He can summon one. There it is. They know that the Aegis is down now. This is their time to find. Exorcism is down. But if they lose this fight, they're gonna lose way more than one set of racks. So they gotta be careful. They gotta be very careful. They gotta make sure that they take the bristle back out first. This bear is attacking very fast. It needs to get more entangles doesn't find them this lion weaving in and out getting those impales on all multiple targets all the time pikachu trying to get himself out shivash also running away from his own illusion in the meantime death prophet manages to eat the cheese and live in just a fine after having the second exorcism in the fight and now it's time for the range strikes night stalker ended up dying in all of that that means that there's finally an advantage a clear advantage for one of the teams, meaning Vega Squadron, of course, other than the Ages and the Gs that they had. There. I had to cough the whole time. I coughed this time. Dream Cole comes out. Lion. Oh, he's he's the first one out. He gets targeted so hard. Manages to use himself up in the air, laying some of the damage. Manages to blink out, actually. Very nicely done. And it's the Disruptor himself that dies to this BKB Bristleback. Now Nice Stalker getting an overgrowth. He has the gem for his team, which he will lose. Two down. Vega Squadron. They're marching now mid. They're looking for more. They're looking for Anchi. And they are going to get him. Or they're going to get the bear anyway. Poor bear. 300 gold going the way of Disruptor. Not Disruptor. Death Prophet. Close enough. Next, next lane of racks. 
No backdoor protection as mid was pushed in. And that is another tower down. He's already going for the racks. The silence coming out doesn't really matter. Death Prof's fine. I mean, who's gonna jump this? Who's gonna want to jump this? It is daytime again as well. So Night Stalker fight in their base. Uh, that's not good. Yule steps her up. Bristle back. Not really the right person to find. They ended up finding the lion though, but he uses himself up in the air. It gives time for the Bristleback to come around. Vacuum wall and leading to the Impale. Really nicely coordinated by Vega Squadron. And the Black Hole comes out by the Overgrowth as well. Refresher Black Hole. Is it enough? Yoki is taking a lot of damage from that Exorcism and the Death Prophet is not taking that much damage herself. Or maybe standing on that Midnight Pulse is definitely not good for your health. Use up in the air. The GG is cold. They don't want to do this anymore. Vega Squadron victorious. And Angie... After having a pretty decent start.